So apparently Tulsi Gabbard is no longer a Democrat. Now, I, for one, actually thought that she had already left the Democratic Party, but it's naive of me to assume that she wouldn't go out in some loud manner because this is what grifters do. They make an announcement and a spectacle of everything because they're trying to position themselves for their next grift, and that is exactly what Tulsi Gabbard is doing. So it's official. Now she is no longer part of the Democratic Party, and her reasoning, as you're going to see in this video, is deeply, deeply unserious. Take a look. I can no longer remain in today's Democratic Party that's under the complete control of an elitist cabal of warmongers who are driven by cowardly wokeness, who divide us by racializing every issue and stoking anti-white racism, who actively work to undermine our God-given freedoms that are enshrined in our Constitution, who are hostile to people of faith and spirituality, who demonize the police but protect criminals at the expense of law-abiding Americans, who believe in open borders, who weaponize the national security state to go after their political opponents, and above all, who are dragging us ever closer to nuclear war. Now, I believe in a government that's of the people, by the people, and for the people. Unfortunately, today's Democratic Party does not. Instead, it stands for a government that is of, by, and for the powerful elite. Now, I'm calling on my fellow common sense, independent-minded Democrats to join me in leaving the Democratic Party. If you can no longer stomach the direction that the so-called woke Democratic Party ideologues are taking our country, then I invite you to join me. Tulsi, no, come back. Tulsi, no. Tulsi, Tulsi, Tulsi. What are we gonna do without you? Without you, without you. Please come back, come back, come back. Oh, Tulsi. <laughs> I mean, those reasons there are not serious reasons. She just listed off Republican Party talking points. Now, we'll go to one of the ads that she ran during the 2020 presidential election, and you'll see that she sounded very, very different. But this is what this is all about. Now, we'll address what she said here in a moment, but let me just point out what this is about. Tulsi Gabbard recognized in 2020 that she can never win a Democratic Party primary because both the left and the center flanks of the Democratic Party, they don't like her. So her only option, if she wants real power, like presidential power, is to run in the Republican Party because they have seemingly embraced her. Now, the things that she said are very yikes. Most of it is just standard right wing talking points. But she says that the Democratic Party is under uh, under the control of an elitist cabal of warmongers who are driven by cowardly wokeness, who divide us by racializing every issue and stoking anti-white racism. What exactly does that look like, Tulsi Gabbard? How specifically is the Democratic Party stoking anti-white racism? Give us at least one or two anecdotes. She's not doing that. She's just using these buzzwords that are very popular among the GOP's base. And that's for good reason, because she's trying to pander to them in order to perhaps one day ask for their votes. If not for the president, perhaps to be the governor of Hawaii or something like that, or to just have a platform on Fox News or Newsmax or something like that. So this is nonsensical. What she's saying um, is completely idiotic because the Democratic Party, between the time she ran for president to lead this party and now, has not substantially changed. So why is it that all of a sudden it's too much for you to stomach, but just two years ago, the Democratic Party was a party that you wanted to lead? Sure, she had her criticisms of the Democratic Party. We all do. But now it's just so intolerable that she can't take it and she has to leave the Democratic Party. Does this not reek of opportunism? Does this not seem like she is shamelessly trying to grift here? She also says that the Democratic Party is hostile to people of faith and spirituality. Again, how so? I, for one, am an anti-theist. I've made that abundantly clear. But I would never ban religion. I would never try to discriminate against or persecute somebody who practiced the religion. I would just try to convince them to not subscribe to any religion. But that's not an attack, that's just a simple disagreement. In what way, however, is the Democratic Party attacking religion and spirituality? Most Democrats are religious. 
So this just makes no sense. Again, it's just a right-wing talking point. It's not supposed to make sense. These vapid talking points aren't intended for people like you or me. This is intended for a very narrow audience who she's trying to appeal to. Also, um, Democrats demonize the police but protect criminals at the expense of law-abiding Americans. Um, I don't understand how you can say this when Biden has consistently called for increases in funding to the police. And this is what Republicans were saying in 2020. Again, why was this not an issue then, but it's only an issue now? Joe Biden quite literally was the individual who Tulsi Gabbard endorsed back in 2020 over Bernie Sanders. So what's so different about him as the president now compared to when he was running for president when you endorsed him? It makes no sense, right? Also, she says, I believe um, in a government that's of by and for the people. Unfortunately, today's Democratic Party uh, does not. Now, she says that the party is run by elites. That's true. Both parties are run by elites. But again, this hasn't changed since she ran as a Democrat in 2020, since she was a congressional Democrat before 2020. It hasn't changed. Just all of a sudden, she can't stomach it. I mean, she's so full of shit. You can smell it through the video. It's embarrassing. And the implication is that the Republican Party of all political parties, the two that we have, they're the ones who believe in a government of, by, and for the people. They quite literally try to stage a coup to kill democracy in the United States. So to make this critique of the Democratic Party in 2022 is a little bit absurd. You can criticize both parties. Perhaps the Democratic Party isn't very fair when it comes to Democratic Party primaries, but she's just implying it's only Republicans who care about democracy. She says this after we all saw the 2020 insurrection attempt. I just, I don't know who would believe this, but I actually do think that Republicans, they would buy what she's selling because they don't necessarily verify anything. A lot of Republican voters are very gullible. That's not to say that there aren't gullible Democratic Party voters, but Republican voters, they don't verify. They just hear the talking points, the buzzwords, and they think, okay, that person belongs in my tribe, and that's it. So Tulsi Gabbard knows that she can get away with what she couldn't get away with in the Democratic Party, with the left. Remember, she tried to position herself as a progressive, as the heir to Bernie Sanders' throne. But the left saw through that when she ran for president. So, you know, they verified, they checked her record, but she knows that Republican voters aren't going to do that. So that's why she is now potentially positioning herself to be a Republican presidential candidate. But really, I think that this is also possibly about her trying to get a show on Fox News. And that, I think, is actually very realistic. As John Whitehouse tweeted, Tulsi Gabbard has made at least 100 appearances on Fox News evening programming, 7 p.m. through 11 p.m., including a whopping 46 appearances on Tucker Carlson's show, including guest hosting it. So if you've made that many appearances on Fox News, if you guest hosted on Tucker Carlson, they're definitely interested. But I think that maybe they weren't interested in you as a host, as a permanent host, while you still have that Democrat label. Maybe that's why she's shedding it. I'm not really sure. Either way, we know that she's full of shit, but I just want to uh, juxtapose what you just watched with one of her ads from 2020. She was never a very substantive politician. She was always very vapid and platitude driven, but just still the difference here is very, very clear. They say no money to give our teachers raises, no money for the opioid crisis, yet we waste billions every month on wasteful wars that haven't made us any safer. Families are forced into debt so their loved ones can get health care, while politicians push a defense budget greater than China, Russia, the UK, and Germany combined. I'm Tulsi Gabbard. I'm running for president and approve this message because it's time we invest in the American people, our families, and our future. So she went from talking about health care to talking about cowardly wokeness and anti-white racism. I mean, folks, she's full of shit. And if you are on the left and you still don't see it, then you are as gullible as the right. But I think that the overwhelming majority of leftists and even, you know, uh, centrists, they can see that Tulsi Gabbard 
she is effectively a right winger. I say effectively because, again, I don't necessarily believe that she has a core political ideology. I think that she really doesn't have any values. Her values are what will get her to a position of power or influence. That's what Tulsi Gabbard is about. She's made it abundantly clear, and she will flip on a dime if it means that she can position position herself for a better grift. I mean, we all saw her run a campaign against regime change wars, and then she endorsed the drone war, essentially. I think it was last year when she did that. Everyone talked about this on the left. So she has no values. She is an empty vessel, and she's just going to do what makes her money. I think that everyone sees that by now. And this video is hilarious because I don't think there were many people that thought she was a Democrat still. Um, I certainly thought that she had quietly exited the Democratic Party. But still, again, when you're a grifter, you don't lose this opportunity to make money and gather more support. Of course, you're going to make a huge amount of noise in order to better position yourself for your next grift. And that's what she did. And in a way, we're guilty of buying into it by even talking about this grifter. But again, if it wasn't already clear, I just had to make it abundantly clear. Tulsi Gabbard is completely full of shit. And if you don't see it, congratulations. You're dumb. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Woke moralists, woke moralists, woke moralists. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.